Hello, welcome to another reading vlog. It has been a while. Things got crazy in December with work and then there was Christmas and holidays, but I have missed making videos, missed talking to you guys, so I'm back vlogging and hopefully also I can manage to do some reading. Uh, it is summer here in New Zealand at the moment and honestly it's boiling hot. I'm kind of dying uh, all the time. It said it was going to rain and then it's not even raining. So yeah, that's making it hard to get anything done. Also, reading wise, I'm struggling because I took Along the Saltwise Sea by Shawnee Maguire, written as a Deborah Baker. I took this on holiday and oh my god, I was so bored. I could barely force myself to get through it. So it's only a 200 page book and it's like a middle grade book, but I'm only 75 pages through. Like, I just, I can't force myself to read like even more than 10 pages and then I'm just like, why is nothing happening? And there are things that are happening, but none of them are interesting. And often, I don't mind Sean Ann McGuire's slower writing style. Often she weaves in a lot of this like social commentary and I feel like it's so on the ball. It explains things so well. It makes you really feel the, the social issues that she's talking about. But in this one, I just feel like whenever she gets into that it's not really saying things well and it's not really very focused what she's even talking about and there was one whole section where she was talking about how it's weird that children understand fairness better than adults and it was kind of like making out that children understand the difference between equality and equity like the idea that treating people equal isn't necessarily equal because people have different circumstances and so sometimes people do deserve to get more benefits so that things can be equal and like she's saying children understand that I remember learning that as a child of being blown away so I don't think so and also like a lot of children like children have to learn empathy they don't have that automatically so like I just don't agree with it so I don't know and it's it's just Zib and Avery are still in the up and under as they were in the first book so this is the sequel and I keep forgetting what are we even trying to do I feel like I'm just ranting about this but anyway I'm gonna try and read some more of this today um I really wanted to love the series because I really love Middle Game and this is like a book A. Deborah Baker is a character in Middle Game who wrote this middle grade series of books in order to like instill ideas in people's minds so that her alchemy would work because it's like based on belief and that's such a cool idea but these books I just feel like Shawnee Maguire is trying to make some money I don't feel like the story is actually very interesting and I think in general I'm still ranting I think in general Shawnee Maguire is really great at coming up with amazing concepts, creating interesting diverse characters and like these really whimsical worlds. Her writing style can be really good when she hits the mark but her plots. This kind of book, it's a journey book, it needs a plot to carry the journey along. It doesn't have a plot. I'm mad but I'm gonna try and finish that honestly I want to finish it today just so it's done and then I don't even know what I would read next because I need to sort out all my reading plans um I'm reading an audiobook as well I'm reading The Black Prism by Brent Weeks so this is the first book in a five book series in this world where magic is like color based like different people have the abilities to draw on different colors or like different parts of the spectrum of light and depending on the colors of lights they can draw, they can do different things with them. Um, there is this religious kind of position called the Black Prism, who can draw on all the colors. There's one of these every generation, except in this generation there were two. And during the war, one of them was killed, maybe, and the other one continued being the Black Prism. But the one that everyone thinks continued being the Black Prism is not that one. They're identical to him. One of them swapped places and did something with his brother. And it's really interesting because you can't really tell whether the, the black prism that you're following along with, like, is he the good guy who took out his evil brother? Or is he like his evil brother that was manipulating everyone to be on his side? Or is he actually the bad guy? And he does some things that are kind of bad, but he also does some things that are really good. I've read the black prism before. I really loved it. 
And then I actually went to pick up the audiobook for the second book because I know one of my goals, even though I haven't done any planning yet, I know one of my goals is going to be to continue series this year and try and get all my unread or unfinished series finished. Um, so I thought I would continue that series and within like the first two minutes of the audiobook I was like I can't remember who any of these characters are. Um, so I've gone back to the first book and I'm really enjoying rereading it so that's not a problem. So that's another one that I will read this week. Um, I basically have three days to sort out my shit before the weekend and then I'm back to work which I'm totally not ready for and unhappy with and I don't want to do it. But um, the plan at the moment is that my contract will end at the end of March and then I'm hoping to have some free time. So I'm not sad about that, but I also would like to finish off some work things before I finish. But also I don't. I just want to enjoy the summer. <sighs> Life is hard, but I'm sure I'll survive. Um, today I am going to go out and do some shopping, even though it's way too hot. I'm trying to clean up my house in these three days and sort out some stuff. I want to set up some like digital bullet journaling and like create my own digital bullet journals with like the links and stuff. And I, I want to actually start posting videos regularly. So I want to film some videos and edit some videos and I'm well behind on like all my monthly wrap ups. So what am I even doing with that? I honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to go work it out. I'm gonna do some shopping. I'll read some books. I'll try to force myself to read some books anyway and then I will catch up with you guys later. Okay so I am about to head out but I'm very annoyed because I just discovered that my camera has decided to start corrupting every video it films. This is a different camera. Um, hopefully this will work because I lost my update from yesterday. Um, however the summary I can summarize it simply. So this book I ranted about it a lot and then last night I did force myself to finish it off because it's so short I was like I don't need to DNF it I can just finish it really quickly so I pushed through I finished it off and maybe I shouldn't have bothered it was definitely disappointing there was this element that I mentioned yesterday um which you wouldn't have seen um but there's like this stairway in this pirate ship where it only appears sometimes and at the top there's this woman crying and I thought maybe that would end up being something but instead no not really and also there's a part near the end where one of our characters is drowning and he's talking about how he's gonna miss making his father smile and miss having his mother bring him toast and like then it decides to interject this whole section about how problematic it is that what he misses about his father is something that he does for his father versus what he misses about his mother is something that she does for him and like okay interesting point but like he's drowning is this the best time to talk about that it's just really weird and i this is like a middle grade book i cannot imagine a middle grade type person reading this and enjoying this just no i feel like this wasted my time and i don't think I'm gonna continue the series which I'm totally bummed about because I was so excited that she was writing those books from middle game. Ruined. Um, the other thing I have been doing is continuing to listen to The Black Prism which I'm absolutely loving. Like it's just the best everything I remembered. There's so much like intrigue going on and all the characters are really interesting and they all have like these really difficult conflicts with each other. It's hard to know who's good and who's bad. There's all these secrets that his brother had that he doesn't know about but he has to pretend that he knows about them because he's pretending to be his brother so i'm really enjoying that um when i am driving just now when i head out i will try and read as much of that as i can i'm finding it's really easy to just listen to while i'm doing other things and i a lot of the time with audiobooks when you do that sometimes you'll stop listening but this i'm just so invested i love it can't wait to get to the second book and read stuff that I haven't read before. Anyway, I really should get going. Um, what we are gonna do this afternoon is watch the movie of June. We're very late to this, but we finally found a showing <laughs> that we can attend. And like things are kind of calm with COVID at the moment here in New Zealand, although we're expecting Omicron to break in at any moment. So that's gonna be something to look forward to. Anyway, I'm a little bit worried about June because I read the book and in the beginning I was absolutely loving it and then the ending was very rushed and kind of sexist and I hated the very last line. So <laughs> I'm really hoping I'll love the movie. 
but I guess we'll see. If you set yourself on fire, I never let you burn. I would smoke you till my lungs hurt and love you till I'm dead. Hello, so I only have one more day left, holiday, and then I have to go back to work. And I counted, it's only 55 more days and then my contract finishes, so I'm sure I can make it through. And like, honestly, my job is better than some jobs, but there's just been some things lately that have been really frustrating me. And because I took some time off in 2019, I know how much I enjoy not working, so I'm looking forward to that. But uh, I'm quite stressed about starting work tomorrow because I remember all the things that were on my to-do list that I didn't finish before Christmas and they're still gonna be there which is quite annoying but anyway I am gonna try and do some video things today and some setup things today so we'll see how the day goes I guess. We did on Friday go to see June and I did really enjoy it. Um, it really only got through the first half of the first book so it didn't get to that section that I didn't really like. So that was good although also I would say there were a lot of things from the movie that were missing or like things that were hinted at in the movie but they weren't described as fully as they were in the book and even though I wouldn't have wanted that movie to be any longer because like honestly by the end I was dying to go to the bathroom but still I was a bit annoyed at some of the things that were left out but they also changed the order of things I feel like a little bit which confused me um, but going with Jace he hasn't read the book so he said it all made sense to him um, it's sometimes weird when you've read the book and you go to see a movie, you don't know whether the movie is explaining things properly because you already understand them, right? Uh, but I really liked it, it was really beautiful, the way they did some of the elements was really cool. Um, the only thing I will say is when we were at the movies we were like, hmm, maybe we are too old to go to the movies because it was so loud! Uh, Jace, being a sound engineer, got out his DB meter and was often up at like 115 dB, which like 120 db is the threshold of pain so like why is it this loud we actually put tissues in our ears to protect our hearing um recommend it if you're at a movie like that <laughs> because it really doesn't need to be that loud but they just try to do it to make it seem really epic but like it's epic even if it's not that loud you know maybe i'm just too old to go to the movies anyway it was a good movie i will be interested to see what they do in part two because part two is that part of the book that I didn't like so hopefully it won't be ruined. I did also listen to a fair amount of Black Prism while I was driving around and I think now I've only got a few more hours like four more hours to go uh, I'm still really loving it um, there's a few people who do know the Black Prism secret um, but they're trying to pretend like they don't know which is quite interesting we're learning a lot more about how the magic works with the different colors and the way that you kind of have to think to use the magic it's just really well thought through and still really enjoying that and I'm definitely going to continue the next book straight after I finish this one as well I did read one more thing last night but it's a really short thing so uh, I had got from the library Logan Likes Marianne this is like the graphic novel versions of the Babysitter's Club books 
which were my favorite books when I was a kid. Just all about these girls that start like this babysitting business. And it also just covers lots of like common themes of things that happen when you're a kid. Um, interesting in this one they've changed Logan to be like a black guy. Um, and also they've combined this with Jessie joining the club who is a black girl. And I don't remember if that was the timing of how things happened in the originals. I don't think it was quite the same timing. But I also know in the original books like one of the themes that went along with Jessie's character is that she just moved to the neighborhood and her family was one of the very few black families in that neighborhood and so there was this theme of racism through the stories um, and it wasn't touched on in this at all. Of course it is a modern retelling but that theme is still quite relevant today so I'm interested to see if it will come up at some point. Um, Marianne's father is very conservative so I kind of thought he might have something to say about her dating a black guy but like maybe not maybe it's just gonna go with a nice positive perspective on it of it not being a big deal but then again these books often you know touch on reality and it is a big deal still in reality unfortunately but anyway it was a pretty good uh, graphic adaptation of the original story basically Logan has a crush on Marianne he's just moved to town as well um, he does end up joining the club uh, it didn't, also didn't really touch on, in the original there's this whole section where Logan comes along to their club meetings and then they keep talking about things like bras and crushes on boys and they find it really awkward having Logan there uh, and that's why he ends up not wanting to join the club where in this it kind of had a weird scheduling reason which didn't seem as relevant. I'm not sure why they decided to skip away from that. I mean it it, it is a little bit lame the idea that boys and girls couldn't manage to be in a room together but they could have at least touched on it but anyway very nostalgic read and I really enjoyed it it was lots of fun um when I was a kid I really related to Marianne the most because she's so shy so someone having a crush on her is really awkward for her but also she really likes him too so just a lot of fun then continuing on with reading that I'm really enjoying which I mean thank goodness because this was not it so finally I'm getting into some good books to start the year with which I'm really gonna need for my next week of a horrible work it's not that horrible I'm just being overly dramatic um, but anyway uh, I was doing some reading sprints with Ellie the chaotic reader this morning and I started reading this book so I think it's called and I will suck at the pronunciation of this probably um, Kurangai Tuku Kurangai Tuku um, by Fiti Hiriaka. So this is like a retelling of the myth Hatupatu and the Bird Woman, except it's not really, it's the Bird Woman's story and Hatupatu is just a small part of it. I was really interested in this book and then when it arrived I realized it's even more amazing because uh, the Bird Woman doesn't experience time in a linear way. So you can start the book from either end, either this uh, nighttime end or this dawn end. Um, I kind of meant to start from the daytime end but then somehow accidentally started reading the nighttime one so I think it must be fate. Um, so I've started reading this and the first chapter is all I've read so far but it's all like so lyrical and beautiful and she's talking about this unrequited love and about stories and imagination and how she came to exist and it's just so beautiful. And there is like another little section break that I've just gotten up to so I don't know if it'll change as we get into kind of the next main part but also the section is named Raruhinga which is the Maori underworld so like that's cool. Um, I'm just so excited for the story. I think it's going to be a really strange experience and so far I'm just loving the writing style so I just I was reading it and I almost had to keep stopping because I was just so excited about the experience that I was having and I just wanted to like sit with it and enjoy it which I haven't read anything like that for a while so I'm hoping it will continue like that because oh, I'm so excited to read it. I'm only just noticing <laughs> how on this side of the cover there's like this bird claw hand and then on this side of the cover she's got like a bird face. I don't know how I didn't notice that before. So I'm definitely going to try and read some more to, of this today as well as try and finish off the Black Prism. Uh, but right now I'm going to film a video and I'm trying to get back into that as well. I'll catch up with you guys a bit later. Hello. So uh, it's nine o'clock. It's still super hot and I am super tired which is good because 
lately I've been staying up too late and then the sun comes up too early and I wake up too early and I don't get enough sleep but tomorrow I'm gonna need some sleep before I go back to work so hopefully if I read a little bit before bed um, I'll fall asleep pretty quickly and get a good night's sleep that's the plan um I did want to update you on the black prism because I did finish that up while I was doing a few different chores today and I did really enjoy it there was one kind of not necessarily a reveal but like a clue which makes me suspect something it wasn't confirmed but I didn't remember that from the first read and I don't know I must I must have noticed it but like I didn't remember it so that was quite exciting um, at the end it did drag on quite a long while with this big epic final battle and I got a little bit bored of that like it was probably quite good but just a bit long for what I prefer and also like a lot of it I didn't remember that well which kind of makes me suspect that last time I listened to it I tuned out a bit at that part as well but it has set some really interesting things up for the next book so next week I'm definitely going to read that second book and I'm super excited to continue the series I'll probably also be continuing this next week so um I'm gonna be good and finish off my vlog tonight which I've been really bad at doing one week vlogs even though I started this one on like Wednesday or something so it's not really a one week vlog but we're gonna start doing proper one week vlogs and if I haven't finished things then it just carries over that's the plan um I did want to say some more things about Black Prism though um, because I do think I should say a few things about some of the cons it's like I kept saying like just raving about it this whole vlog and I do really love it I think it's really clever there's so much going on but one of the things that is also going on is it's kind of I don't I don't know if you'd call it fat shaming I guess you would I have hopes that it's part of like the character arc because I think it's primarily Kip who's a fatter character um who is having these fat shaming type thoughts about himself and about others and I'm hoping that the plan is for part of his character development for him to kind of learn that that's not all he is so I'm hoping there's a point to it um I do know as well a lot of people have criticized uh some of the way it treats women I also like to believe that it's partly because of this character that the black prism has taken on because he's pretending to be his brother uh, and so that kind of forces him into thinking in a certain way and acting in a certain way um, and as far as the love interest Karis I think part of it, what it's looking at is how men always looking at her in a certain way has affected her life so I like to believe that it's like exploring these themes when it includes these aspects but I know other people have just found it quite problematic so I might just be looking at it in an overly positive light or like interpreting it in a positive way when possibly it's more debatable I guess regardless it didn't annoy me but I, it's a, something to be aware of if you think that might annoy you I guess but otherwise I really loved it and I'm excited to continue and I guess if I continue the series which is my plan is to finish the series as soon as possible so at that point I can say whether the character development was fulfilled or whether it was just um problematic nonsense anyway I should really start reading and go to sleep by the time I post this I'll probably be at the end of my first week of work but still please wish me luck <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna need it and of course if you have read the black prism or any of the other books that I read this week I would love to talk with you about them down in the comments otherwise thank you for watching I hope that you are doing well and I will see you next time